welcome to Linux Help tutorial. In this video, we are going to see about how to create and manage BTR FS file system on Linux. BTR FS file system is also known as BT file system. It is also a file system we are using in Linux. If the BTR FS file system is not available on your Linux distribution means you can run the following command to install the BTR FS file system. Now type m space install space btrfs hyphen progs space hyphen y and hit enter. Now the package is installing. Wait for some time. Now the package is installed. After installing the package, we need to load the kernel module for btrfs file system. So type mod prop space btrfs and hit enter next we are going to create some partition and we are going to format the partition by using btrfs file system now run the command fdisk space hyphen l here you can see the all drives attached to my system slash dev slash sta and slash dev slash stb now create the partition in this hard drive slash dev slash stb so run the command aptx space slash dev slash stb and hit enter now type n to create new partition now enter here here we need to specify the size for the partition I want 2 GB so type plus 2 G and hit enter now the partition is created now plus T and enter here I am going to change the partition type to LVM for that we need to type 8 E now the partition is created you can verify by typing P and enter now type W to write the changes and then run the command part prop space slash dev slash stb and hit enter now type fdisk space hyphen l and hit enter here you can see this is the partition we have created which is in lvm format so we need to create physical volume and volume group and then we need to create logical volume so run the following commands now type pv create space this partition path slash dev slash stb1 and hit enter now pv is created now let's create vg which means volume group now type the command vg create space mention any name for your vg i will type linux help and space the same partition path slash dev slash stb1 and hit enter no vg is created under this volume group we are going to create two logical volumes now run the command lv create space hyphen capital l space here mention the size you want to create for lv i want 500 mb so type 500 m space hyphen n space here mention the name for logical volume i will mention lv1 and space slash dev slash mapper slash linux help here we need to specify path for the volume group slash dev slash mapper slash linux help now hit enter now the lv is created now create second lv lv create space hyphen capital l space 500 m space hyphen n space now lv2 is the name for second logical volume and space the same volume group path slash dev slash mapper slash linux help and hit enter now 
we have created pv and vg and lv let's verify pvs this is the pv we have created no type vgs and enter this is the vg we have created no type lvs and enter here it will show the created logical volume we have created lv1 and lv2 for the size 500 mb for both now let's create btrfs file system for this first logical volume now type the command mkfs dot btrfs space slash dev slash mapper slash linux help hyphen lv this is the volume group name this is the logical volume name lv1 now hit enter now the file system is created now let's mount the file system under slash mnt so type mount space slash dev slash mapper slash linux self hyphen lv space slash mnt and hit enter here we need to mention the exact path for the lv here the lv name is lv1 and hit enter now the lv is mounted now let's verify type df space hyphen h and hit enter here you can see the volume is mounted under slash mnt it has the size 500 mb next we are going to extend the size 500 mb by adding a new device to btrfs file system now type btrfs space device space add space slash dev slash mapper slash linux help hyphen lv2 space slash mnt this is the second logical volume we have created now hit enter now check it df space hyphen h and hit enter here you can see the size is extended 200 mb now run the following command to check the status for the newly added device btrfs space device space state space slash mnt and hit enter here you can see the status here we need to mention the mount point which is slash mnt if you want to remove newly added device which means slash dev slash mapper slash linux help hyphen lv2 from this mount point you can simply specify here delete instead of this add now let's try it btr fs space device space delete space slash dev slash mapper slash linux help hyphen lv2 slash mnt and hit enter now check it again df space hyphen h and hit enter here you can see now the size is reduced to 500 mb now let's again add the device you can simply press the up arrow for the previous command now hit enter now type df space hyphen h and hit enter now the size is extended now run the following command to check for the disk usage btrfs space file system space df space slash mnt and hit enter now it will list you the disk usage now run the following command to list more details for btrfs file system btrfs space file system space show space hyphen hyphen mounted now hit enter here you can see more details for the btrfs file system now run the command to sync file system btrfs space file system space sync space slash mnt and hit enter now run the following command to check btrfs file system btrfsck space slash dev slash mapper slash linux help now hit enter before checking for file system we need to unmount it that's why we are getting the error now unmount now type u mount space slash mnt now run the command hit enter now checking for any error in the file system now there is no error we can create some sub volumes for btrfs file system now again mount the file system 
mount space slash dev slash mapper slash linux help hyphen lb1 space slash mnt now we are going to create some sub volumes under this slash mnt directory now run the following command btrfs space sub volume space create space slash mnt slash volume 1 and hit enter now the sub volume is created now create another volume we can create multiple sub volume now hit enter to list for the sub volumes we can run the following command btrfs space sub volume space list space slash mnt it will list you the sub volumes created under slash mnt now hit enter here are the two sub volumes created under slash mnt this is the id for sub volume now let's move to the path cd space slash mnt here type ls you can see we have two directories created which is nothing but the sub volumes we have created now let's move to volume 1 now type cd space volume 1 and hit enter i'm going to copy some files in the sub volume now type cp space slash etc slash star dot cone of space slash mnt slash volume 1 i am going to copy the configuration file which is located under slash etc to the sub volume here i mentioning star it will going to copy all files which has the extension dot cone of now hit enter now the files are copied now type ls and hit enter here you can see these are the configuration files we have copied from slash etc now move to home directory cd enter now unmount the slash mnt next we are going to mount the sub volume only under the slash mnt before that run the following command btr fs space sub volume space list space slash mnt here note the id for volume 1 and then run the following command to mount this volume alone under slash mnt now type mount space iphone o space sub volume id equal to 256 space slash dev slash mapper slash linux help hyphen lv1 space slash mnt and hit enter before going to run this command we need to unmount this so type u mount space slash mnt and hit enter now run this command now type div space hyphen h now move to the mount path cd space slash mnt and hit enter here type ls here are the files we have copied in the sub volume 1 if you want to make the sub volume to mount default means run the following command now type btrfs space sub volume space set type and default space 256 space slash mnt this is the id for the sub volume 1 now hit enter now the sub volume 1 is set default now type the command btrfs space sub volume space get type and default space slash mnt and hit enter here you can see now the volume 1 is set to default now let's move to the path slash mnt cd space slash mnt now type ls here you can see the files we have copied in the sub volume 1 now run the following command to create a snapshot for sub volume 1 now type btrfs space sub volume space snapshot space slash mnt space slash mnt here i mentioned the source for slash mnt and the destination path also slash mnt here the snapshot of slash mnt will be stored in slash mnt now hit enter now the snapshot is created now type ls and hit enter 
here you can see this is the snapshot now move to the directory cd space mnt here type ls here also you can see the same files now run the following command to take snapshot for real only which means we can't able to write anything inside the snapshot btrfs space sub volume space snapshot space hyphen r space slash mnt space slash mnt here you can mention the name for a snapshot slash snap hyphen read only now hit enter now the snapshot is created now type ls here you can see this is the read only snapshot now let's move to the directory cd space snap hyphen read only and hit enter here type ls here also we can able to see the same files now let's try to create a new file here touch file here you can see this is read only file system we can't create any file here to make permanent mount for btfrs file system we can create entry in fs file now open the file in space slash etc slash fs tab and hit enter now here create entry like this and save the file and then mount all entries in fs tab by running the command mount space hyphen a and hit enter here you can see the file system is mounted so this is how we can able to create and manage btrfs file system on linux that's all about for this tutorial thank you for watching